the epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Colossians. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God and Timotheus our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ which are at Colossae, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always with you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which you have to all the saints, for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, thereof you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, which is come unto you as it is in all the world, and brings forth fruit as it does also in you, since the day you heard of it and knew the grace of God in truth. As you also learn from Ephesus, our dear fellow servant, who is for you a faithful minister of Christ, who also declared unto us your love in the Spirit. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and to desire that you might be fulfilled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power, and to all patience and long suffering with joyfulness, giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us met to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of the darkness, and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him we were all things created that are in heaven and in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might be the premises. For it pleased the Father that him should all fullness dwell, and having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven, that you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now has he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death, to present you holy and unblameable and unremovable in his sight. If you continue in faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which you have heard, and which he preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh, for his body's sake, which is the church, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispension of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God, even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of ministry among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, whom we preach warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which works in me mighty. Chapter 2 For I would that you know what great conflict I have for you and for them at Lacedonia, for as many have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love and into all the riches of full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with eccentric words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit, joying in beholding your order, and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As you have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk you in him. Root it up, build up in him, and establish the faith as you have been taught, abounding therein by, with thanksgiving. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy 
and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, I am not after Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him which is head of all the principality and power, in whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also you are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who has raised him from the dead, and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, has he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a shoe of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of a holy day, or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshipping of angels, intruding into those things which he has not seen, vainly puffed up his freshly mind, and not holding the head from which all body by joints and bands, having nourishment ministered, and knit together, increased with increase of God. Wherefore, if you be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why has thou, why has though living in the world, are you subject to ordinances? Touch not, taste not, handle not, which are all to perish with the using, after the commandments of the doctrine of men, which things have indeed a shoe of wisdom and will worship, and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any order to satisfy the flesh. Thank you, Lord. In your loving name we pray, Jesus Christ. Amen.